I'm back again. Um, thanks for coming back to the channel and viewing this. Obviously you're here because you want to see this great new little gadget I've got here which I found on the web. Um, those of you that like coffee, you're going to love this. This is just an awesome little gadget. Now I'm going to call this episode um, a gadget break. Gadget break because I'm having a quick break between the electric skateboard reviews. The Onan uh, has had a slight delay on the review being a bearing issue, which I forgot them to send me out a new bearing. That will continue, so stay tuned for the Onan. And I know you've been really patient, guys, uh, but it is coming and it's gonna be a great review. So just be patient with that. So it arrived, the coffee machine. Let's have a look at it and we'll open it up. Okay, there we go. There we go. It's a coffee mini press ex espresso machine thing, whatever. Okay, I'll unbox it now, so we'll just- Okay, well, let's open it up. This is the packaging outside. What have we got in here? Yeah, this is a great little product. Um, I came across this just surfing the web and I love my coffee. So um, I thought this would be wonderful when I'm out on the road and actually um, traveling. Okay, the instructions on the back. Um, information, eight bar max pressure, capacity hot water, eight, 80 mill milliliters. Okay. Um, Let's have a look inside. Open it up like this. Okay, nicely packed. Quite a nice heavy feel. It's got a feel like a really, really good premium product. Okay, instruction booklet. Mini portable espresso machine. Flensks. Flensks? Whatever. Um, there we go. Instructions how to use it. Okay, so let's have a look. There's, that's the picture of what, that's actually what the device is. So have a look. There we go. That's nothing in the box. Okay. Wow, it feels really good. Um, got a real rubberized, heavy feel. Feels like steel or aluminium. Actually, it might, might be aluminium. Uh, but just an amazing plastic. Just something very heavy and very solid. Feels like, um, like I said, like aluminium. Okay, this pops off the bottom. That's your cup. Um, I'll just move this out of the way so you can get a better idea. Um, okay, so... This is the pump, which you turn to unlock, pops out, and that's your pump for the coffee. Um, the bottom here is where it comes out. And if you unscrew this, oh, okay, that's the, the filter system. So it pushes through there, and that's where you pack the coffee into. Just fits in nicely into there. And you just screw that back on. Um, like so nice nice fitting on that nice screw fitting this is a pressure this is where the water goes obviously so it's pressured yeah it pops off beautifully oh they've got a coffee little coffee um, coffee scoop there to the right amount and that's obviously where the the pumping sort of works from this and uh, this actually feels, like I said, like aluminium steel. That's not it's heavy gauge plastics. Really, really high quality. This is not a cheap little um, imitation. This is quite, quite good quality. Okay, so you put the water into there. It must have Max on here. Yeah, there it is, Max. You could just see in there. There we go. The camera can pick that up, I think. And you just put the water into there. You put this on top. You just quite just just do one quite half turn it just locks it in Gee, it's a really good it's an amazing quality piece of um honed and engineered product that's good 
Okay, and then you just obviously pump it and the, water, the coffee comes out here under pressure. So, um, unboxing it, uh, obviously you're gonna have, you're gonna have the, the, the coffee canister, the filter, the, the scoop, and you've got a high pressure lid for the hot water. Feels like it's a flask, I'd say some steel in that. And then the actual pump itself is quite heavy. Um, so that is the, the whole lot, what you get for your money. I'll come back now and show you how it works. Unboxed. There we have it. Look at that. Looks like some weird pipe, doesn't it? Um, okay. Right. Tiny, neat, compact. This will give you a full shot of espresso coffee, similar to what you get in a coffee shop, probably even better. Now, a bit of history with these. There's been one company that invented these little portable coffee machines, and the leading um, company in that kind of invention is called Handpresso. You may have seen that Handpresso has a bicycle pump type setup with a glass bowl, and then what happens, you fire a button, and it just fires through the pressure automatically into the, uh, the cup. This system is a pump action, and the way you do it is you unlock it like this, and it pops out, as you can see, and that's what you pump. The pressure same system same sort of kind of thing but this actually would you believe gets a better cup of coffee than I think the hand presso and I've seen a guy online do a, um, a review of both in two glasses and the hand presso can't compete with uh, the quality of these coffees so um, it's called flints flints flex anyway F L E N K X S whatever flex flints I can't even pronounce it anyway it is a copy of the mini presso the mini presso was a company that came on board to copy the hand presso and they were about a hundred and hundred and twenty odd dollars not far off the price of that of the hand presso the French one this is a knockoff Chinese version of the mini presso it's called flint flint it's called flinks I'm gonna stick with that. Um, I can't emphasize enough to you the quality of this. This is feeling heavy, like it's metal. It feels like Bakelite. Um, it must have some a lot of metal in here because it's got a, it's got a fair bit of weight. Um, so it's a great product and it's a really high quality product. So um, the history of coffee, guys, um, was back back in 18th century. They they brought it as a sort of therapeutic, uh, like caffeine and cocaine and coca-cola there were coffee houses through london where everyone sat around and had their coffees uh, in the late 18th century uh, the french started doing their first presses and then uh, the italians italians came in and sort of said we will make more coffees faster coffees uh, so we'll invent an espresso machine that pushes through compressed air and fires through water quicker faster we can make more coffees hence the, the the history of espresso coffee was uh was invented so um there's nothing like an espresso shot opposed to instant coffee or just a drip filter or even worse still you know a plunger or whatever so um this is the unit and this is the book that it comes with it's a neat little uh booklet giving you diagrams explaining how to how to work it um if you pump when you actually when i'll show you we'll make a coffee with it but when you undo that and you pump it it says uh that if you do 10 times press 10 times you get a ristretto and if you do it 15 times you get an espresso and if you do it 25 times you get a double espresso and then uh, you just add the water and milk to to make your cappuccinos lattes americanos whatever um the idea I'm getting this for is if I go you know, my, on a ride on my electric skateboard in the middle, middle of nowhere, I can kind of pull this out and just do a nice shot of you know, espresso and um, you're not always by a coffee shop or um, somewhere you could actually just get a, a coffee. So there, it's a good option and it's going to be a great little gadget. We're calling this episode Gadget Break between my electric skateboard reviews. So this is a great little gadget and I can thoroughly recommend this because uh, I've had a coffee already with it. So. So pulling it apart, you have a little, in there, little um, coffee scoop, which has the exact amount that goes into the coffee pod that's in here. Um, as I said, you unscrew that to do the pump, but I'd always leave it in and locked, keeps it out of the way. 
The top here is a very well sealed, I don't know if I can just show you, very well sealed, very tight, spring loaded, like vacuum sealed, uh, you know, secured um, sort of latch. Uh, in there is where your hot water goes. So you pour your hot water to a certain level and then put that down the ground. There we go there. Uh, upside down, you unscrew. This has a nice big, um, a heavy screw system on it. Um, and this uh, is the basically the, the, the cup which you'll be drinking from. Um, and this is the actual, where the coffee actually goes. So you take that off and you've got the filter system on both. You've got a filter system in there and there. This is actually the, the coffee pod that you'll fill with coffee. Uh, that goes and fits in there beautifully. Um, you then put this on top here it's got a nice big thick thread it just goes in until it's tight about there then you just put the boiling hot water into this one and cl click that on and just does a one half turn and locks that in it sort of spring loads in then you just undo this pop out the pump and you just pump at the required times with your cup underneath to get your coffee um, look i've had a coffee with it it's extraordinary it comes out full creme full separation and it's as good as my you know thousand dollar coffee system here uh, which is a hand uh, high pressure baby gotcha so i can't emphasize enough to you guys that um this this is a great little product um so look my advice is um if you want cappuccinos or cafe lattes you're going to need to take a flask of milk and you're going to also need to take a heated milk because once this fires through the temperature of your flask which will have your hot water. Uh, it'll stay at that temperature, but if you add cold milk to it, it's gonna be obviously a lukewarm coffee. So you'll need a, a warmed milk flask and you need a hot water flask to get a proper cappuccino. But for a, you know, for an espresso shot, this is extraordinary. So guys, um, thanks for coming along for the next little uh, trip down Gadget Lane. Um, and look, um, this, uh, I'll put a link below where I got mine from. This is only about, 45 u 45 45 maybe 38 us dollars i think they are and the company is called shenzhen run best whatever but the, the name of the uh, actual unit is called flens mini portable espresso machine the knockoff chinese version of the mini press which is a competitor to the original um hand presso makes amazing coffees and now i'll just show you a coffee being made in it uh with a, a shot of me making it from an overview um stay tuned guys um for the onan review of the skateboards coming out just have to hang in there because i've got a few issues i've got to tidy up a few things before i can start doing the a b and c test uh and thanks for subscribing if you are thanks for um thumbs up um keep tuned i've got another fantastic gadget coming out next week and i'll be reviewing the iphone 7 which is uh coming out in the next uh, vlog till then guys stay safe be good and i'll talk to you guys on the next review Fantastic.